Hello everyone how you doing it's me Enderbrine. In this video I'm going to show you things you didn't know about Pojov Launcher. But before we start the video leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's get right into the video. Number 1. Each render has a use. The first render uses for old versions of Java Edition from 1.0 to 1.9 or below 1.0. The second render I don't know much about it and nobody use it to be honest, but I think it's for 1.0 to 1.11. The third render is the most known render and the most using render. This render is stable and it can be used for all versions and it's the recommended render to use for everything until they make change about it. The fourth render is the most laggy render to use and it's the worst. It's only used for high shaders, and it crash always. Anzits can use to check if the mods doesn't support other renders. I don't recommend using it. And this render got replaced with the Virgil render until they optimize it. Last, but not least VGPU render. This render is the optimized version of Zinc and Virgil render. This render can be used to run VGPU shaders and some mods that doesn't support the third render. This is all render and when to use them now. Let's move on to the next thing. Number 2. Did you know can make each version run his render and Java runtime and don't mix them? Hold the version you want to edit it and select the render and Java runtime. Now, we can use other render to play other version. Meanwhile, this version won't mix with the render we use. As you can see it work while we use Java 8 am the first render. Number 3. You have properly faced this issue at least one time right? You can't click or do anything, and you have to restart the game again. But did you know why this issue occur? This issue occur if you don't use the default control map, so the game think you don't have buttons to interact with. To fix this issue set the control map, and once you make sure it work change the control again. As you can see it work now change the control by doing this. Number 4. This is the best Optifine setting to improve performance. Copy it so you don't have to do it again. Number 5. Did you know making void world will increase the time to make normal world? Now, let's make a void world, and let's compare it to normal world with making void world. Don't make new world immediately, 
make a void world and kill the dragon or do something for like 20 to 30 seconds to make the game run smoother. Number 6. If you have any phone that support 90 hertz or 120 hertz or above you need to know that. Did you know if play with higher screen fresh rate with mouse and keyboard, you can't play in Pudge of Launcher. The only way to solve this without leaving the game by enabling the battery saving mode. Just like that. Number 7. The only way to play 1.17 and above, by modifying the assets texture pack by yourself, if the OK button didn't work. Of course this way wasn't created by me. This way was created by the Pojav launcher devs so no body comment why the snapshot doesn't work with me. Thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video, and see you guys in the next video.